Hey guys, you're watching Zwan and Ali. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Zonocraft Season 2. I have no idea what episode we're on. I forgot to look. I just looked at the screen. I can't see what episode we're on. So, <laughs> we're just going to get straight into it. Last episode, we built the upside down blacksmith. I love that lava. That is so trippy how that's upside down. Today, we're going to carry on. Whoops. I just ended up held. We're going to carry on. We're building more upside down buildings. You guys enjoyed it today. We're going to build as many as we can. But we're going to start off with the church. Now, one thing I did forget is that the church is taller than a blacksmith. So if we built it next to it on either side, the floor of the uh, of the church would be a lot higher than the blacksmith. Now, that wouldn't really matter too much. But we do have, naturally, this sort of drop down a few blocks. So I reckon if we built the church down here, it probably wouldn't look too odd. And I had a look. I've got the blueprints up on uh, on my computer. Let's put these buckets away. I don't need them. I've got the blueprints up on my computer. So I will be looking at those this episode. Because, like always, I have never built a uh, <laughs> an upside-down church before. And I'm going to need some help. And hopefully, uh, you guys can, uh, can build along with me. So the first floor, we're going to do this. This is like the points of the castle. Now, it's a little bit hard to do off the bat. But the easy way to do it is to do a level up. And then do, is this right? Uh, ish. Like this. Like this. I'll show you in a second. Oh, bear with me. Like this. And then, oh, I've got the pickaxe on me. Take that corner out. Okay, so you've got like a, a three wide. Like a T shape. Do a T shape. And a T shape. And a T shape. And a T shape. And in the middle, you'll have a three by three cobblestone area. Now, how am I going to get up here really easily? I've got sand. Whoops. I took my helmet off. If we pillow up with sand, it'll be easy to break later on, won't it? So, the next level. Oh, yeah. And uh, one of these holes is going to have to be a ladder as well. Do I have any ladders? I can make some. Because then we could probably get up and down using that as well. There's some rails. There's some more rails. No, we shall make some. And we're going to have to sleep anyway. So, it was a good thing that we sort of stopped for a minute. And I need to free up some inventory space. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, what is all this stuff? There we go, get rid of that, get rid of that. I don't think we'll need the slabs. I'm full of that chest. Okay, sleep. It's so night time! Anyway, while we're waiting, how are you guys today? I hope you're doing really, really well. I think you're all back. Uh, the people that do go... Oh, hiccups. Burp. <laughs> all the people that do go to school, I think you're all off, uh, all finished your half term. Now, I know a few of you went back, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago, in fact. Uh, but I, I think some of you only just went back very recently. Uh, so if you have just gone back, I know it's very hard when you first start uh, start school again after being off for so long. It can be a, a little bit of a downer <laughs> having, to go, having to go back. Believe me, it's so worth it. School is so worth it. You need to go. Uh, it might not be the funnest place sometimes. Uh, I know a lot of you do have a lot of fun. I know a lot of you find it very hard like I did when I was at school as well. I didn't find it all that fun. Uh, but if you don't go, you're really missing out on a lot of stuff. Not only are you missing out on on learning and the education, but most of all, you're missing out on the social, the social side of it. You know, being able to uh, meet up with friends and, uh, you know, you've, you've got an hour of lunch. I expect you've all got an hour of lunch. And you've got, you know, like a, a half an hour break somewhere in there as well, or two 15-minute breaks. I know all schools are different, you see. Um, but there's a lot there's a lot that school has to offer apart from the education and the boring homework side of it and stuff like that. It needs to be done, and it will really help you out when you leave. It really does. I know a lot of people, a lot of people say that. But hopefully, maybe, just maybe... Coming from me, it might mean something else to you. You know, it might it might actually mean something. I know your your parents will always say, "Oh, you've got to go, you've got to work hard," and you're like, "Yeah, I know, I know." But for me, it really, really does help. It really, really helps. I would have found it. Where do we go back here? Four blocks. I would have found it a lot easier if I had actually uh, worked a little bit harder in the school. Uh, I would have found it a lot easier once I once I left school uh, to to find a job and all that other stuff. It would have just made things a little bit easier if I had just concentrated a tiny, tiny little bit harder. But you live and learn, don't you? You live and learn. So, we've been pillaring up here. We've done the tower. It's so, so hard to build upside down because your brain 
always is constantly trying to flip it the right way up. It always is. Uh, I need to... Ooh, I fell. It's good. I didn't mean to do that. Your brain is constantly trying to flip it the right way up again. And, uh, yeah, it could be quite difficult. Oh, I can't get that last one. I'll have to delete that later on. I think this is the one with the... Oh, yeah, we left a load of lad ladders out. If I drop down there, I can then come back up. Ooh. 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 Got it. <laughs> All right, excellent. Wow, you go through so much cobblestone. That's like two stacks already. I thought I had, like, well more than enough this episode. But it looks like we're going to be quite close. Okay, and then you come round here. I'm a little bit nervous about the inside of this blacksmith. Because the uh, uh, blacksmith of this church. Because there's some stairs, isn't there, and stuff like that. That's going to make it a little bit trickier. All right, and then you have this, 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 another ladder. Ladder, please. Uh, and then a glass pane. And we also have a glass pane there, there. Poop, I'm out. <laughs> I, of course I would be. I, I would never have all this stuff required for the episode, would I? Have I ever been that prepared in my life? There we go, there's some more glass. That should be enough for this episode. If I take this away, I could probably use the ladder and get that one away. I can probably break in somewhere. I'm just going to break in here for the mo- Oh, poop. That was a bad place to break in. There, there, and there. There we go. Hopefully, we don't fall down again. That was probably a bad idea. We should have just pillared up. Okay, so it was there and there. And then cobblestone comes around the outside. These buildings, like the villager buildings, I never really uh, thought that they looked all that great. The more I've played Minecraft, the uh, more appreciative I've been of them. They've actually got quite a cool design to them. It might not seem it. Uh, yeah. No, we're doing good. We're doing good. I thought I, I missed something then. Door goes right there. That's going to be the top of the door. But for us, obviously being backwards, it'll be the bottom of the door. And then these. Oh, are you guys confused yet? I am. I'm proper confused. Aha. Uh -huh. And then that one goes there. Right. So the next level, the door, the door goes in there. We're all, we're all in agreements of that. There's no windows, but we're starting to get into the furniture side now. I think what we'll do is we'll probably do the furniture. No, it'd be best to do it as we go. I was thinking about doing it last. Oh, more cobblestone. Right, now, now, on the picture, on the picture, I've got to look carefully on the picture here, we've got an upside down stair, I've only got four of these, upside down one there, and an upside down one there, because obviously from the other way up, it will be correct, and I think that's it, have we put the ladder in? Nope, keep up with the ladders, huh, huh, right, so we've got the, we've got those ones in, now the next one, I've got to look very, very carefully. We've got another ladder to go on. Hey, wait a minute. How can we have another ladder to go on? Oh, no, we've done. We've done these too high. We've done that on the wrong level. Ooh, don't break the wrong ones. That one. That one. Oh, stair, come back. <laughs> Please come back to me. Uh. Wow. This is so hard. I thought we were going to be able to get, like, a few of them done today. We still can. We can, we still got time. Okay. That goes along the bottom. And we also have one there and there. And then we have an upside down stair there, there. And we need one to go in the middle. We do need more. I thought we were going to have enough, but it looks like I was wrong. So let's just make a few more. It looks so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are doing it right. Okay, that was the better way to get in. That's what we should have done last time. Right. I wish I could fly. <laughs> like on Alien Craft. That'd make things a lot simpler. Alright, that's got that. And then, woo, stuck in the block. And then it's just the floor. Okay, and the floor's pretty easy. We've got to go along the, what would be the bottom of the door. But for us, it's the top. Fill all this in. Oh man, I can't wait to look inside here. Because we're going to have to climb from the from the top of the church 
down to the ground floor. It's such a weird thing to do. Okay, and this actually has a really weird bit about it. I've never understood this design of the church, but you don't go over the edges. You don't go right up to the edges. You go to there, down again. I oh, know you do. Maybe it doesn't. No, wait a minute. We've been doing it upside down. Have we? Hold on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to do those. I need to do those. There is a part that looks really weird that I've never understood. It's uh, four blocks. One, two, three, four. These three come out. Those three. Those three. And a stair goes on the front. Because that's how you would get in normally. So the stair. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you get that really weird bit missing. I always thought that it was a generation thing. That it used to miss out some of the blocks. Uh, some of the time. But apparently it's an actual thing. We need a door as well. So let's stick this door on. We can do that when we go up there. We're going to have to light it up anyway. How are we going to get in here normally? Do we... Do we leave that block removed? And then you can get into it that way? That's probably going to be the best way to do it, isn't it? And that's how you get in. It is higher, obviously, than, than the blacksmith, but it's not terrible. Okay, so this would be the little platform. So we need a torch there. Probably just that one torch, I think. You've got to do it on the bottom because it's upside down. One by the door. <laughs> the other buildings aren't quite as hard. The blacksmith and the church are obviously the most technical of them all. Yeah, and then there's that weird upside down altar. I tried to like turn my screen around then. That's like the upside down altar thing that goes in there. That is super, super cool. Oh man, yeah. And then you get out. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so we've got the church. We've got the blacksmith. Now let's let's take it easy for the rest of the episode. We can do some simple houses. Hopefully I can talk while doing this as well. What should we talk about? What have I got to talk about? Again, you guys aren't doing a very good job of giving me um, my questions of the day. I ran out an awful lot. I ran out of the questions of the day an awful lot. I can't remember what the last one was. Oh, yeah. Someone asked me on Twitter. I think it was just a general uh, question on Twitter. I don't think... What was I looking for? Food. Um, I think it was just a general question on Twitter. But I'm going to use it as a, a mini question of the day. And it said, have I seen the new Fast and the Furious film? And if I have, uh, what was my favourite car? I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious films. Uh, right from right from the very beginning, uh, I saw the, the first one when it first came out in cinemas, uh, as well as pretty much all the other ones. I think the only one I didn't see in the cinema was probably... Oh, we've done this wrong. Uh, it was probably um, Tokyo Drift. I don't think I saw Tokyo Drift in the cinema. Did I? No, I don't think I did. Oh, I tell you what, we should have kept the, the side. No, 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 we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, so we need to remove these. I need to get some fence posts, which I've got because I forgot we're building them upside down. So this is the one with the little fence posts that go around. Five by five. Like this. I'm going to have to remove those planks as well. They're going to have to be swapped with um, with logs. There we go. We can sleep now. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I've seen I've seen them all. The first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. <laughs> and uh, and the, the, there's the seventh one that just came out. I think it was the seventh one. I always lose track of how many there actually has been. I'm pretty sure that there's been seven in total. And I hear tell rumour uh, that they're making an eighth one, obviously without the late Paul Walker in it who unfortunately passed away halfway through recording the, um, halfway through making the, uh, the most recent one. As far as my favourite car goes in that film, hmm, I've never been a huge fan of the muscle cars like that Vin Diesel always drives. I've been, I've always been more of a, a sort of, um, either an exotic, you know, the, the very fast Ferraris and Ascaris and stuff like that, but I have also been a fan of the, uh, the sort of tuned ones, the sort of, uh, how would you describe it, need for speed style cars. Does that make sense if I say that? It's like the, the need for speed sort, sort of ones, you know, where they're like a, a normal road car that you see every day that you might even own. You might even own one of them or your mum or dad might own them. 
uh, but they're tuned up to be like super super fast. I think they're they're probably my favourite ones uh, because I had a lot of friends. I done it as well to my first car. Um, you know who who done it to their cars. You know my first car. I had a really um, huge sound system. Uh, in the back of it and and all that sort of stuff you know proper proper need for speed style stuff and all the hiccups <laughs> all the engine was all tuned and uh, body kits and stuff like that it was just that i don't think it's done that much anymore really uh, but when i was when i first start passed my test uh, and was able to drive on the road uh, that was the sort of common thing to do with your car it was it was quite weird i find it a little bit weird now i prefer leaving my car how it is uh possibly making it a little bit faster when possible but um you know not not putting in the sound systems and stuff like that i think it's uh the time has passed <laughs> from that not that i'm too old don't you guys start thinking that i'm too old for that sort of stuff just my, not my sort of thing i've forgotten the door the door goes on the front there i put four windows in that's okay that can be removed really easily um but yeah it, it's a it was a weird one i think in the first ever Fast and Furious, we're going back many, many years now, but it definitely had to be, um, did he have the skyline in the first one or the second one? I think it might have been this, I don't know, I think it was the first one. He had the skyline in the first one, didn't he? Paul Walk had the skyline in the first one, and then in the second one, he had the uh, the eclipse. I think I like the eclipse out of that. I know I'm talking very niche here, and I know a lot of you probably have no idea what I'm on about <laughs> when I'm naming cars. But I am a big car fan. But you could go on forever. Obviously, the the Mitsubishi uh, was my favourite in the third one. The the red drifting car that looks so cool. <laughs> oh, we need the um, we need a torch and a ladder in here, don't we? So the torch obviously goes at the bottom and then you've got to put the ladder up to the floor. What a weird saying. There's no furniture in this one. That's like one of the little small ones. How is our village? Let's go to the top of the temple and have a quick look down. And then we might build one more. We can build another small one. How, how weird does that look? I think I am going to do a path and I think we'll try and do it with gravel. And then hold the gravel up with string. I don't think you'll be able to see the string that easily. So I think it'll give a really good illusion of floating gravel as well. And we could we could have the uh, the church, the gravel sort of drop down to the same height as that. And it'll really 100% look like an upside down one. There are a few larger houses that we've got to do. Obviously there's the, uh, uh, what do they call it? Did they call it the library still? I'm not sure if they still call it the library or not. Um, but it's the one with the bookshelves in it and the crafting table. There's also, I think it's known as the shop. And it's got the half slabs on the inside. I don't really know what they are. I think, I think they called it a shop. Did they? I think so. I think they called it a shop. I can't remember now. We have to put these in the corner for now. Just so I can place logs on top of them. Um, and then we've got the big empty house that has the big roof. It's sort of like a, an L-shaped house. Uh, that I think I used way back on a series called Collect the Potions, where we done a series where we just had to collect the potions as quickly as possible. That was a fun one to do, and I think I used one of those houses as my main house, because obviously it was all, all pre-made or ready for us. I think these are normal planks here now. Boop. There you go. Our inventory, finally, at the end of the episode, is starting to free up. <laughs> and then what other houses? There was one with dirt. Oh, yeah, this is the one with dirt. This is the one that we're building right now that has dirt on the floor it has no windows it's just dirt and yeah the door will be on that level so we put that there that there and there if you guys are building your own upside down village at home uh send me in some pictures on either twitter or facebook both of which can be found in the description below uh you guys have been sending pictures in of your theme parks and uh and stuff like that, that you've been building and a lot of the simpsons stuff on the simpsons series You've been building in survival. That's really cool that you guys have have managed to to make them in survival. Not the easiest. Oops. Not the easiest things to do on that series because we use a lot of micro blocks. But boy, you guys have found some really cool ways to do it uh, to get around some of the micro block problems. So a big pat on the back for all you guys that have done that. Definitely. Let's put oops, a torch down. 
My dogs may bark in a minute. If you hear some dogs barking, it's because someone uh, has turned up at my gate. Not to see me, to see my other half. But we need a, uh, a door and we need dirt. That's what I came in here for as well. Aha! Look at me! So prepared! And we've got to get in here as well for the minute. So, uh, dirt on the floor. Really weird why they've got dirt in this one. I think this one's meant to be like a shed. Like a garden shed. I'm not sure. Should we put torches on the fronts of the buildings as well? Like a torch there. A torch there. It would be so cool if you could do upside down stuff. Like upside down torches and stuff like that. That would be really cool. And then one right there. Well, obviously we'll do um, many of the, like, the small ones. We can do more than one of those. There we go. Uh, but I can do those off camera. I can build the same ones that we've already done off camera. But that's looking really, really cool. I can't believe what uh, an amazing effect that gives. And then, yeah, we'll get the path down. We'll also do some upside down lamp posts with the black wool and the torches. And uh, I can't wait to see it. It's a really interesting thing to have on a world. If you guys did enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!